हेलो फैमिली वेलकम टू द न्यू वीडियो फ्रॉम गेमर्स फोरम वेल टिल नाउ मैनी ऑफ अस आर स्टिल कन्फ्यूज ऑफ आर ट्रू फॉर्मेशन वी ऑलवेज यूज टू थिंक दैट मे बी आई कैन हैव अ मच बेटर ट्रू फॉर्मेशन सो वी यूज टू आस्क मैनी ऑफ अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल्स दैट प्लीज टेल मी और प्रोवाइड मी अ सर्टेन ट्रू फॉर्मेशन फॉर माई गिवन एट्रीब्यूट दैट आई एम हैविंग सो दिस वीडियो इज मेड अप फॉर यू गाइज so that you don't have to ask anybody about any kind of formation this video will help you to gain the idea how to make an effective troop formation for your desired troops so guys if you are searching for a troop formation for archer based attributes then please browse the description below of this video and uh, i have shared a troop formation for the archers to please view that video so that you can get a perfect troop formation for your archer based attributes so this video is fully focused on how to make troop formation no troop formation is made here only an idea of making an effective troop formation is being learned from here so guys before starting the video all the new viewers who are new to the channel please subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon because your support is my strength so guys let's discuss about the troop first because for a perfect troop formation you should have a little bit knowledge about the troop what troop you have to choose which is more affected which is more destructive and which is more defensive you have to you should have a little bit knowledge about the troop so let's start with the troops first let's start with infantry when it comes to infantry i must tell you that infantry is best for defense infantry give best defensive bonus and was very successful defender for your castle so level 10 infantry and level 9 infantry both can be used for level 10 uh, defensive and attack level 10 infantry and level 9 infantry can be used for attack and defense okay if you are having level 9 infantry troops you can use it for attacking if you have level 10 you can use it for attacking and defense both these two troops are best for attack and defense and after it it comes to level 7 seven infantry if you have level 7 infantry you can use it in formation to decrease your troop loss because level 7 infantry can be easily healed so that's why level 7 infantry can be used to reduce the loss it become wounded by herself and save much of your troops from getting wounded so level 7 infantry can reduce your troop loss when after it let's come to cavalry horses when it come to horses i must recommend level 10 and level 9 horses are both best for attack horses are um, basically made for attacking it has sharp uh, attack that's why you can use it for attacking purpose only it is not very good for defensive so i must recommend that uh you can use only cavalry horses just for attacking formations don't use for it uh, defensive because it will not give you the better result in defensive so level 10 infantry and uh, level 9 infantry both can be used for attacking and if you want to use infantry uh, sorry uh, horses level 10 and level 9 both are for attack if you want a horse for defense then you can use level 8 okay you can uh, use level 8 uh, horses that can be used for little bit defensive type bonus okay basically i must recommend do not use horses for defensive purpose after it it comes to archers as we all know archers are the best for attacking basically for level 32 p5 castles archers are the best one for the attacking 
for the destructive to the most destructive for level 32 p5 or p6 is the archers only so guys level 10 archers and level 8 uh, level 10 and level 8 archers both are made up for the attacking purpose only so I must recommend you to use level 10 and level 8 archers in your formation if you want to attack uh, destructive attacking formation level 10 and level 8 archers are necessary level 9 archers can be have a good uh, attack but it can be used in small number just for a direction purpose only five to six thousand in amount it will help you in the formation don't put uh, too much of level 9 archers if you want to place it okay but if you don't have level 10 uh, troops then you can use level 9 and level 8 archers it will uh, do the same work but if you have level 10 troops then i must recommend that don't use level 9 just use level 10 and level 8 archers and when it came to siege you all know that siege is best for plundering best for defensive and level 10 siege is best for attack for attacking purpose you can use level 10 siege and for defensive purpose you can use any of the siege because siege is basically made for defensive and plundering purpose it will increase your or um, damage to the opponent and decrease your troop loss so guys this is about the basic information regarding the troop various troops and what troops you should use uh, i must uh, say that level 10 siege is best for attacking and level 9 and level 8 siege can be used for defensive purpose so this is about this small short description for the troops this description necessary for choosing uh, the formation that's why i have told you a small description of the troops so the next after the knowledge of gaining the knowledge of troops now the next thing that you have to do for the troop formation is selecting your math size please select the ideal math size for which you are going to make the formation so my ideal math size is around uh, 2 lakh 2000 i hope so So my math size is uh, 2,3,000 okay it's my ideal math size so please choose your math size whatever it is please choose it and now after it after choosing a math size equip all the best attacking equipments your dragon glass for attack your uh, dragon word for attack use it use all the attacking bonuses all the attacking equipments all the technologies or the research everything you can use it equip it and after it after equipping it please hit once in the go to the dragon tower hit the dragon tower of any level with your best troop formation and best hero it will give you an idea of your attributes okay the main purpose of this e equipping the best equipment sets and overall things is just to gain an idea of your attributes so now you are having your attributes okay i have not uh, uh, hit any dragon tower but uh, i am i have uh, some defense of the rift event so i can use this uh, um, attack king attributes to give a knowledge of how to choose an attribute this is not fully focused because my all the formation uh, my dragon glass and dragon word is just focused on the gathering purpose at now that's why my attributes is little bit no uh, low this time so guys now you have your mass size you have a battle report that is giving you knowledge regarding the attributes you are having now the first thing you have to do before selecting any kind of troop in your formation is first check the ratio of troops check the ratio of troop means how much troop you have to use in what number 
you have to use it. So first we have to decide the ratio of troops we are taking in our formation. So ratio of troops are decided by the troop health. Okay guys, troop health will decide the how much ratio of troops you are going to use in your formation. Okay, as you can see, here is my battle report and I have the maximum troop health of archers. Okay, 94%. It is not very much because I am working on it. I am uh, uh, increasing the troop health slowly by researching and some other uh, techniques. So it's not much. Uh, I can. I'm not comparing anything. This is the video just for knowledge, not for showing some attacking d defensive bonus and attributes. So please, guys, s try to gain the information provided. So guys, first I am having the maximum health of 94% by archers. After it, I have an infantry health of 78. Okay, this is my increasing. After it siege in, uh, engine health and last i have a cavalry health of 37 percent this is about my troop health this means the maximum the troop having the maximum troop health should be kept in the large number and after it the increasing order decreasing order troop health will decrease the number of troops i can use in the formation so my first priority of troop Troop number will be archers. After it, I will use the maximum number of infantry. After it, the probability should be focused on siege. And at last, I will choose cavalry. Okay, this is about the number of troops I am going to use in the formation. So, this is about the ratio of troops. So, this is about the ratio of troops that you are going to take. So, I will write the ratio about the health in a piece of paper or whatever you can. After it, now check the attack and defense of your troops. What it is, my largest attack is for archers. So, my first probability is for archers. After it, my attack, uh, best attack is for cavalry, horses. And after it, my attack is best for infantry and at last it's siege and when it come to defense my infantry and archers defense is the best one so this is about the attack and defense i will align all of the troops according to the troop health and increasing order of uh, in uh, attack and defense bonus so i will align all of these things now we have the ratio of troops we are going to take we all the thing that is left here is just to distribute them proportionately if you want to use you can use all four troops or you can use three troops in your formation you can use four troops or you can use two troops it's not necessary that you uh, every time you have to use all four troops or all two troops it's about your your will that uh, what kind of uh, number of troops you are going to use in your formation from as from my recommendation if you want to have an effective formation then please try to use two troops or three troops in the formation the top three troops or top two troops will give you more destruction to the opponent castle as compared to four troops because four troops can proportionate the formation in different values so what for uh, what kind of percentage of soldiers you are going to take now let's talk about the percentage of soldiers largest attack and health the troop having the largest attacking and health should be taken around 50 to 55 percent in your formation okay use the largest attacking defensive and health troops in a ratio of 50 to 55 percent in the formation means i will use 50 to 55 percent of archers in my formation okay after it use second largest attack and defense troop with a ratio of 30 to 35 percent means my second pr uh, probability or priority will be just for infantry so I will use around 30 to 35% of infantry in my formation. Okay. 
and last thing is the third one it is optional if you want to place you can use the third uh, drop in your formation the percentile of the third drop will be around 15 to 20 percent uh, if I used to choose my third troop, I will use the siege because it will reduce my loss as well as it will also use for attacking purpose because a level 10 siege is very much destructive. So I will use 15 to 20 percent for of siege in my formation. So this is about the formation and the ratio. Choosing troop in the formation, you can get that knowledge in the starting of my video I have discussed about the troop and which troop is used I have given you a small description regarding the troops and their attacking and defense so choose the formation from there use a right troop in your formation I am not making any uh, formation in this video because this video is just for making you guys capable of choosing your right formation so i hope uh, this video will help you guys to choose a perfect formation and if you made a formation in this style that i have uh, told you or discussed with you guys then i must say that it will be really effective and uh, you will not gain any loss in the formation if you want to check that the desired or the formation that you have uh, made uh, from this knowledge if you want to check your formation just on select a level of monster okay whether I must uh, select my level 30 monster I will hit the level 30 monster with my best formation my previous best formation okay same thing I will do with the present true formation and the number of wounded soldiers difference will tell you that which formation is better this is the way of checking your formation and its effectiveness i have told you guys all the basic information that is needed for the troop formation for selecting up the um, capable troop formation so guys please watch the video carefully each and every point in the video is very uh, very much useful for selecting the formation if you find the video useful please hit the like button and comment for any queries or the next video topic subscribe for the more video and keep growing with the gamers forum thank you